You guys, I want to show you my favorite solid dressing in the entire world. It's vegan, too. That might not mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me. Because we're vegan half the year. So. This has got avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. There's nothing dressy about Trader Joe's green goddess dressing, except that you use it to dress salads. It's made with simple, flavorful ingredients, and it's delicious. Shake well before using. Don't you wish that I would advertise everything? I really am just the best. But... <laughs> Narcissism is really, really annoying. It's really annoying. But you can make it funny. Anything that you can make funny is okay with me. I think one of my biggest complaints with our society is that, yeah, people are just uncreative. And in their lack of creativity, like, they're just all repeating themselves. And they're all, like, just, like, in, in the whole reactionary, you know, like, the, the whole woke thing is a good example. So you see all these people that have issues with the woke ideology, as we call it. Um, you know, feminism, LGBT. Um, just the gender roles being completely swapped, all right? So, you know, there's that, and it's annoying. But what I find even more annoying, and this, this is my own opinion, okay? I mean, everything is my own opinion. I don't just cut and paste other people's opinions, like so many, so many that don't have an actual personality do on the internet. But, um, not to say that I'm not influenced by other people. Like, of course I'm influenced. I'm, I don't want to say influenced. I would say inspired. Okay? But, um... It's like people... Are, like, allowing their reactions to... Like, determine their next move. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it in the way that I'm thinking it. That makes perfect sense in my head. But if I try to say it out loud, it's like... It, um... Sometimes it doesn't make sense. So I am going to attempt to make it make sense. As many have said. I'm not going to pretend that I'm coining any kind of phrase. Okay, um... But, like... It's like... Say you're against... Like, feminists. Fem feminists started all this. Okay, so... If you're against... Um the traditional view of, of women, then reacting to that and saying, I'm going to do the exact opposite of that. I'm going to be the man. I'm going to, like, it's, it's not just that, okay, I don't want, I don't want a family or I don't, I don't want to have a husband or whatever. No, I'm going to be the man. And if I do have a husband, he's, He's going to be submissive to me. Okay? Um, that's really annoying. But, but now you have all these, these people that say that they're against that. And they're also really obnoxious. And this whole trad thing is so retarded because... There's no such thing as traditional. Like, if you have the internet at your house, you are not traditional. Tradition does not involve staring at a screen. I don't, I don't think it does. I don't. I think that television is the real destroyer of the nuclear family. It really is. Because if we didn't have all these distractions, we might actually talk about our problems. If we didn't have all these distractions, we might actually face ourselves... But, you know, as, as long as there's a problem, there are, there are many, many people that will capitalize on that problem and, and bank off of it. 
they're not going to offer you a solution because there's no money in solutions, okay? No money in solutions, only money in problems. And that's why all these pieces of shit are making such a name for themselves because they are pretending that they offer a solution, but they really don't. They really don't. I mean, I'm telling you right now, like, a lot of these things that are, you know, already problematic in our society have been exacerbated with technology. There have been so many people that have, have come to me and told me this. I see, I see this online all the time. People saying that they're deleting their social media. They're getting rid of, they're getting rid of like, any apps that are, like, tempting to them. And... They're just, you know, trying to live like a, a fancy free drama, drama-less life. Because there's just so much drama, so much drama on the internet. And it's like people want it. They love the drama. They love having somebody to hate. That's why I say that anti-feminists are the biggest hypocrites because they're, they're making money on everything falling apart because of feminism. Okay? Just like feminists could make a name for themselves because they wanted to break down the family unit. So it's like the other side of the same exact coin. And the best way to not succumb to any of that shit is just not to play, you know, to just reject the coin altogether. But nobody wants to do that because people want a name for themselves in this shit world. So. Sorry. I hate that I get mad about all these things all the time. But I'm still in the world, you know? And I still have to deal with the repercussions of people's bad decisions. So this whole idea of like, oh, well, that doesn't affect you. That doesn't affect you. Honey, I don't want it to affect me. I don't want to have shit to do with any of this stuff. But it does affect me. Because people bring it to my attention. So say somebody's like texting and driving, or say somebody's taking a selfie, or they're, um, what do you call it? What's that thing they do? Snapchat. Snapchat. Say they're Snapchatting, or they're shooting a TikTok video. And you can get on to me all you want, because I shoot videos when I drive. Um, so... <laughs> I think that you do that is like, I mean, it, it is kind of a reaction if you think about it. So, just foiled your system right there, baby. No, but, I mean, it is. It is a reaction in a way, but it, it's also because that's what I want to do. I don't, I don't do everything that I do because I'm reacting to something else. I really don't. Like, I genuinely don't want a smartphone. I genuinely do not want to be on Twitter. Um... But, yeah, it just seems like people are not in control of themselves. If, like, they react to something and they have no idea how much they're also being played, they're also being exploited. The same way that feminists are being exploited, anti-feminists are being exploited. And ev every one of them is exploiting the general public by keeping them distracted with all the sensationalism that it involves. Okay? But yeah, anyway, back to my, what I was saying. Um, so say somebody's like, yeah, um, they're using their phone when they're driving and they're not paying attention to what's going on. I like, I like to think that I still pay attention even though I'm shooting a video. I'm still watching the road. I'm still, I'm still making sure that I turn left when I'm supposed to turn left. Even though America's turning left always, they never turn right. It's bullshit. Never turn right. The world would have to make sense for them to turn right. You know? But anyway. Yeah, so it, it's like... If you're doing something on your phone and you're not paying attention... 
to the road and you're not paying attention to like other people honking at you to go but you're too busy on your phone okay Th that does affect me that that affects everybody on the road so when people say oh well smartphones don't affect you blah blah blah, blah, blah that's bullshit like the technology is, is making everybody even crazier than they're already naturally prone to be living in Western civilization, okay? So this whole idea of, like, no, it doesn't affect you, that's, that's complete crap, dude. Take your libertarian garbage somewhere else, bitch. Bitch! Bitch, bitch! Anyway. You know, I like to side with libertarians for the most part, but I don't agree with them on that. I, I don't think that anybody does anything without it affecting other people. And so I ask myself the question all the time, like, am, am I doing positive things that are going to impact this world in, in, a, in a good way? Like, just because I get angry... What else was I going to put in here? Um, just because I get angry and... There are, there are things that, that really bother me. I mean, I'm a human being, you know? I'm, I'm going to get mad about shit. So. You know, I actually had a friend of mine who's, who's very liberal. She's a witch, too. She, she was telling me. And she knows that I'm a conservative. She knows that I supported Trump for the mighty long minute that we supported Trump. Um... But she, you know, she still supports me as a human being, as an artist. You know, we work together and everything, so we kind of have to be cool, you know? I don't think that a lot of people have that experience of, like, having to work with people that they don't agree with. Having to work with people that, you know, engage in a lifestyle that they don't understand or their religion doesn't support or whatever. I, I don't think that a lot of these people, like, have real experiences with real people. So they're just kind of talking out of their ass. Like, these are all the people that identify as autistic, okay? So. They don't know how to interact. And I mean, I don't like people either, but, you know, just working in the restaurant industry has, like, you know, shown me how to work with people that I don't like. You know, doing comedy with people that I don't agree with. Doing comedy with people that call me racist. You know? It's taught me how, how to... Just let that shit go. You know? Because... Where is my cinnamon? <laughs> oh, that's weird. That is weird. Oh, no. It's right here. I'm dumb. Um... You already knew that, dude, didn't you? You definitely knew that I was dumb already. Um, but yeah, so... Should I add jalapenos to this? I want to add jalapenos to this. Because I just... just want to make it burn. saying I always like delve off topic off topic you you never even have a topic like ever you never have a topic that's complete crap <laughs> okay so <laughs> I can at least hope that I'm able to talk about it says Dexter on it Isn't that funny? um I hope that I can at least get to like certain points that I want to make and even if I end up talking about a lot of other shit that's, like, irrelevant to what I was originally trying to bring up, I, I hope that I, I can at least get somewhere with it. But hey, man. This one's not hot. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You just gotta wait, baby. You just gotta wait. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that y'all probably know that, like, I'm not doing this 
for any kind of like, you know, validation or whatever. Like, yeah, I think that most people on the internet, they're just so vapid. So vapid. You'll know them by their fruits, right? Well, anyway. This kills me that I can't remember what I was originally trying to talk about reactions everybody's reacting yeah nobody's creative man nobody's creative if like everything that you talk about is just like is like somebody else's content like what what do you have to offer man oh, you don't have to tell me that it's like next to impossible to be original that, that once again the competition you, you want to be number one you want to say i said that shit first I said that shit first. Hashtag na, hashtag na, hashtag na, 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 hashtag na, hashtag na, na, hashtag na. Fucking loser, dude. You're a loser. The only reason you don't kill yourself is because, well, you're already dead. Dead people can't kill themselves. I crack myself up. But see, I don't claim to be all original and shit. I don't claim to be original because. I mean, you're always being inspired by the world, some kind of way. Whether you love the world or you hate the world, you're still being inspired by the world. So, it's like, people that act like, Messiest eater ever. But hey, I enjoy my fucking food, bitch. I do. <laughs> do you see me chomping on that tomato? That means that I really, really enjoyed it. But it's like people are concerned about etiquette. You know, people think that etiquette's like more important than anything else. And there are people that are like anti etiquette. Maybe they're just like total slobs or something. I just don't think about it. But I'm aware of that. I'm aware of the fact that like other people see me the way that they see me, probably with good reason. So if they're disgusted by me, that's okay. You're allowed. You're allowed to be disgusted. My last name is Gross. But, yeah, it's like, if everything is just a reaction to a reaction to a reaction to a reaction to a reaction, and people just want to be on top, how could that possibly make for a good society? And the only reason why people are even slightly traditional is so they can take a picture of themselves baking cookies. Or they can, you know, show off all their kids. Or they can show off their hot trophy wife. Or whatever. They can show off how much they, they bench press or whatever. Whatever that is about in the gym. You know? It, it's just like, are you really doing it for you? 
or are you just doing it to prove something? You know, I guess, I guess that's what I have an issue about. Like, I'm, I don't need to prove shit. <laughs> Cause it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be the same, you know? Like, my experience is the same whether people acknowledge it or not. My experience is the same whether people agree with it or not. You know? <laughs> like, I've had so many people argue with me about schizophrenia. I've noticed that those people that argue with me are people that identify with me. Those are people that, like, see things the way that I see them. And they're like, no, 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 you're not schizophrenic. If you're schizophrenic, that means I'm schizophrenic. Okay, then. Okay, then. I'm not going to brand that, okay? <laughs> That's not going to be my thing. Like, oh, she's in the, the schizophrenia spectrum. I guarantee you I don't think it'll be anywhere near as popular as the autism spectrum. Or the narcissism spectrum that... None of the narcissists will even admit that they're on, you know? Why would they? They don't have any self-awareness. But... It's like... People that have a problem with me, people that are completely weirded out by me and intimidated, don't want shit to do with me, um, a lot of these comics, I see them in the audience laughing, but they won't talk to me. They're so afraid of me. Um, they would totally agree that I'm schizophrenia <laughs> because they're afraid of me, you know? And, and everything they've ever been taught about schizophrenia is like, it's really bad. These people are like totally insane. They think everybody's out to get them. That's funny because narcissists think the same thing. They make everything about them. They think that anytime that somebody holds them accountable for anything, they feel like they've been ambushed, you know? Now, I'm not saying that there aren't like more extreme versions of schizophrenia. Like we're very high functioning, but it's like, All the stuff that we think is generally true. The, the way that we see things is pretty accurate. Because we know that, like, we're just being lied to nonstop. We've always known that, like, since we were a kid. So, it's like... <sighs> Mental illness is just so fucking... I really don't know the word to describe it. Because I, I think that the, there's a, a very common misconception about mental illness. And it's because of schizophrenics. They, they think that, that schizos just can't function. That's not true. That's not true at all. And, and if you ask the, the question, why aren't they able to function? It's typically because society won't allow them to. Society won't just leave them alone and be like, okay, you're crazy, that's fine. You know, everybody's got a metal. Everybody's got to fix stuff. They got to fix stuff. But like, the, the people that, that meddle the most, the people that make everybody's life miserable, the people that, that lie straight through their teeth, the people that are just raging hypocrites, those people are upheld in society. The, the algorithm loves those pieces of shit. So what does that say about the world? What does that say about the internet? And so, so people like going along with that because they, they get their ratings up. I mean, it's just disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Like if you are disgusted by the world, you are absolutely right. Okay. Take a shot, take a hit off a joint or whatever you got, because it ain't going to get any better.